What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to WBE VGC week 10. Yeah, season 1 week 10. Uh, this week is our final week of non-playoffs battles and I have decided that rather than going out with little whimper with our little 2 and whatever record, I'm going to go out with a bang. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use pretty much every Pokemon on my team I have not brought yet. I, I sort of threw all common sense out the window and I'm bringing by far the wackiest team so far just because i want to i want to run something real fun this week so we have all sorts of stuff belly drum charizard um we have baton pass <laughs> togepi choice scarf on the hitmon top weakness policy klefki uh berserk drampa and steely spirit berserker it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun one we're, uh, we're facing off versus, versus Poiges, Poiges, I can't pronounce his name, I, I'm sorry man, I, I I love your channel, I've known about you for a long time, but I, I straight up have never gotten around to saying the name out loud, but go sub to him, his link will be in the description down below, but yeah, ooh, what, what do we what do we have here, looks like uh, we're gonna be running some, I mean, I know I know that Intellion gets beat up, so we could activate the, the Cobalion here, but I kind of want to just go for my memes, I kind of just want to go for my memes. Let me let me check something. The rest of his team seems pretty weak to um, fighting moves. Unfortunately, Hitmontop is kind of just... I mean, yeah, I can lead off Hitmontop. Hitmontop is always a solid lead here. I just didn't want to lead it off versus the, um, the uh, Meow Stick, because I'm a bit concerned about that. Um, next to that, the Weakness Policy Klefki seems pretty cool. I'll, I'll do the Weakness Policy Klefki. We'll bring Preserker in the back. We're having fun this week. This is going to be a very fun week. We're relying entirely on Klefki. Because this thing has Recycle in Weakness Policy, so I could technically do it twice, which is so dumb. It's so dumb, but I want to do this. Um, and we have, you know, Preserker with Steely Spirit, so we can activate that a couple of, or we can activate that on top of the Weakness Policy. We are, we are having a fun time this week. This is no longer about winning. This is about going out with a bang. All right, let's do this. As he sends out Sinchino and Meowstic. I mean, Meowstic does have the potential to fake out, which would be quite annoying. It would be quite annoying. However, I'm not too concerned about the... Um, Hmm. I'm not too concerned about the Dynamax on the lead here. I'm going to go ahead and just go for it. I want to get off a Steel Spike. So I'm going to Dynamax this Klefki. Let's go for it immediately. Let me max Steel Spike into the Meowstic because I'm more concerned about that. And then next turn I'm going to get into the Preserker if I actually get this off. I'd be so happy if I get my Weakness Policy here. As they switch out the Sinchino. There's the Girder. Okay, that's good. Maybe their weakness policy girder? That'd be interesting. I doubt it, though. Hopefully no fake out on the lead. Because that'll just guarantee that we get off this massive steel spike play. <laughs> Big keys. In the words of uh, the great DJ Khaled, I got the keys. Don't fake out, don't fake out, don't fake out. <gasps> Thunder wave. Um, I'm Choice Scarf, so I think I still have to speed my Klefki. Please do not get fully paralyzed. I want my weakness policy. I want my weakness policy bad. So bad, dude. So bad. Come on, lower their speed. Make Klefki big fast. Make Klefki big fast. Yes! <laughs> yes! Klefki, big fast. Do it, boy. <laughs> Alright, um... We get our weakness policy off. I mean, I should be concerned about the girder. I really should, but I don't. I don't think I am. I don't think I, I am. Um, what's he running? Evie Light, most likely. Check this out. Activating gamer mode. Uh, I I want to. I want a steel spike. I mean, a star on a steel spike will achieve the same thing if I target a meow stick here. So I'll just do that. We're gonna activate our steely spirit. We're playing for memes. I want. I want to. I want to use these crazy mons. There's the reflect. Ooh. 
There's my Steel Spike. I actually remove that thing from play, which is phenomenal. I have Fake Out on this next turn. That's double base power because of our Steely Spirit. And our Klefki is simply vibing. There's the Magician. We take the Light Clay. Interesting. Not really useful here. Dang, I kind of wish I stole something else's item. I mean, I do have Fake Out on this next turn. There's the Inteleon. I do not fear you, Inteleon. I do not fear you. Um, I think we always target down the Girder here and Fake Out into his, it as that. Fake Out into it as well. Because I'm not terribly concerned with it. Um, and I'll max strike for speed control. I think my max strike will KO because it is coming off a hyper beam and I, I don't want to lose to Inteleon. Uh, I mean, I could just I could just steel spike into, into Girder. Hopefully no Dynamax in the Girder. Actually, a Dynamax in the Girder would technically be better. Please tell me that's Girder. It's, it's most likely the Inteleon, but if it's Girder, whew, <laughs> I want to see how much this does. There's the Inteleon, okay. I mean, I am Assault Vest, I can probably take one hit. We're gonna go ahead and remove this Girder from existence. There's the Hydra Snipe. Onto my Klefki, though? Onto my Klefki, though? I think we can eat that. Oh, yeah. We eat that up. Like Reese's Puffs. Be gone. Be gone, Girder. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. I'm, I'm probably talking a little bit too loud into my microphone. I'm sorry, guys. It's peaking a lot in Audacity. And we still have the Steely Spirit Berserker at full health. Ready to deal some damage, dude. Ready to deal some damage. We have double base power on our steel moves, so essentially they're they're unresisted. Essentially nothing resists them. Oh no, it's not double base power. I believe it's 50. I, I forget. Let me let me check. I always forget. It's 50%. It's it's 50%, but it's for everything. So I mean. That's a deal. I think my play here is to uh, switch in the Hitmontop for Berserker and use that as my win condition. And I can get in Klefki later on. So uh, what I'll do here is I'll just Dazzling Gleam for damage. Uh, yeah, I'll just Dazzling Gleam to hit everything. And Scarf on Hitmontop is like useless now, but at the very least, Hitmontop can take, can uh, can eat a hit and lower the damage output from from the uh, Sinchino. There he is. Okay. That hurts, and and I don't like it to be to be on. Oh, ow, ow! Hello. <laughs> okay. Um, Togepi could come in here, and I could try to close combat, but it'd be really iffy if I could actually get this off. Um, I think, I think if I close combat into this um, Sinchino, I can win. But I could just endeavor as well. <laughs> I'll just close combat, and I will follow me. If you're wondering why I have uh, Ancient Power, it's literally just for the memes. We're Serene Grace, so I, I could hypothetically Ancient Power Baton Pass. <laughs> well, follow me here. I think I can take the Hydra Snipe plus the Sinchino attack. Uh, as long as I don't get fully paralyzed here, I should be fine. There's the Hydra Snipe. Togepi, my son, eat it up. Oh, yes. Togepi, my son, eat it up. Alright, we're not eating all those, but I just need this one hit. I need this one hit. Come on. Oh yeah. It's gamer time. And they're not focus sash, so I think we take this first game, because I do have fake out pressure. I do have fake out pressure with the Berserker.
So what I can do here is just fake out close combat and then um, double close combat and be perfectly fine. Berserker is actually like really nasty, the damage output it has. It's got 110 base attack with tough claws. That's that's no mean feat, dude. Or that's that's no small feat. Alright, let me go for the fake out here. Hopefully I don't get fully paralyzed, because that'll just guarantee that I win. There's a protect, that's fine. I am assault vest, so I can eat a hit with my uh, Berserker. So really, it's it's all down to hit on top not getting fully paralyzed. We'll close combat again. Um, and I think here, um, what does the most damage? 70, neutral, 80 times 2 because of, or times 2.25 um, divided by 2. So it just gets the small boost. Um, close combat is my strongest move, but I'm really concerned about not being able to eat the hit afterwards. Who are you targeting? Hopefully Berserker, and I don't get paralyzed with my hit on top. Alright, he targets the hit on top. Hopefully I can eat a hit and not get crit. <laughs> I, I am Assault Vest. I am Assault Vest. I'm hoping that I can just eat a hit from full health. Oh wow, that does nothing. How bulky are you, dude? Oh god. Okay, so I lost. So I lost. Um. Hmm. How do I come back? I'm just going to close combat again. It's my best option. I have to crit him, and he has to not crit me if I want to win. Wow, we actually eat that up really well. Unfortunately, no crits. That's going to be game. Dang. Actually, how much did I take from that? That hurts because I could have won if I actually went for U-turn into close combat there. Dang it. <laughs> I didn't expect to do like that little. I thought it was just game there. All right, so that's gonna be game. Let's see what we can do. I mean, we already revealed the, the first meme. We already revealed the first meme. So what do I do instead? I mean, maybe it's belly drum Charizard time. Maybe maybe we just belly drum on him with Charizard. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, we'll receive his card. And we'll continue here. I feel like I should've been playing like this from, from day one. I definitely uh, stressed myself out a little bit too much with trying to win, and it took a lot. It took a lot of the fun out of it sometimes. I think. I think now that there's like no chance of me even qualifying, it's a lot more fun. All right. Hmm. I mean, I can go Charizard Togepi. I think uh, Scarf hit my top in the back isn't bad for the speed control it offers. And uh, my last Pokemon, we haven't brought Drampy yet and it doesn't, look like, it doesn't look like they have a Trick Room option. However, it does seem like one of my worst picks I could go with, so we'll go Berserker again. Because Klefki doesn't do much. It really doesn't. Like as a Dynamax option, you know, it's, it's good with the Steely Spirit. Its offenses are so bad. I have to weakness policy it for it to do anything. I really want to avoid getting paralyzed though, so that turn one fake out is going to be really, really important. Or that the follow me on the um, on the Togepi is going to be really, really important. I mean, so I have to follow me the initial one, belly drum up, and then follow me the next one without getting fully paralyzed. And also, I have to be really weary of uh, of rock blasts and Chino. Okay, I can live with this lead. Uh, Cobalion does get like Stone Edge and stuff, but I can do this. I'm just gonna go for it. This is, I, I just wanna do it now, you know? Well, follow me, I'll follow me. Um, I mean, if he has Fake Out, then he should go for it here, but I don't think he has it, considering he clicked, uh, he clicked the Thunder Wave the other game. So hopefully no Fake Out. And I can just redirect uh, like a, a stone edge into the um, into the boy. Or actually, does it get stone edge? I feel like Cobalion gets stone edge. I always forget. 
There's the light screen. Ooh, he's in for a real bad time here. Iron Head, we should take that. Because it's a Cobalion and it doesn't do crap. Hello, Charizard. Are you ready to take a win? <laughs> Alright. So, um, I have to redirect away the the incoming attack, because they're they're most definitely gonna be going for the um for the Thunder Wave here, or if if not the reflect. So I'll follow me and I will max airstream into the Meow Stick, and then we can start clicking the physical the physical max wildfire, which is something that you don't see too often. I find it funny, we started the season with a belly drum. We're ending the season with a belly drum. Our first battle, we used Togepi plus Belly Drum Slow King. Oh, come on! Okay, we're back. So, we. <laughs> it's been 24 hours, by the way. It has been, t like, nearly 24 hours since, um. Since we, uh, did this. So, basically, what happened is, uh, my internet just straight up said like, hey Marcos, we know how much you love playing Pokemon. Uh, we're gonna make it so you can connect to your Wi-Fi, but you can't connect to Nintendo servers. I'm like, oh, okay, phenomenal. Uh, so it's been a day. It's The problem seems to have solved itself. So we're just repeating the first turn of game two. Um, but yeah, that, that was that was an interesting situation I found myself in. <laughs> but yeah, we I don't even remember how hyped I was here. I don't think it really matters, man. We just belly drummed up. I'm about to click Max Airstream into that Meow Stick to make sure I don't get paralyzed on this next turn. Follow me away the hit. It's going to be all good. We're at Max Attack. It's going to be a fun time. And we're also going to get the Speed Boost, which will allow me to outspeed that, uh, that Cobalion. Just to follow me. As the Reflect gets set up, just like last game. And the Iron Head knocks out my Togepi. Okay, time to destroy this Meowstic. Okay, Meowstic's down. We did Dynamax first, which I, I feel like puts me at a slight disadvantage because he can always reverse sweep me, but I feel like the position Charizard's in is just so good. It's just so good. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll send in the Hitmontop here because the... Um, the Choice Scarf is going to be really useful here, especially with the Intimidate we can get off in the Fake Out. It's going to be real nice. There's the Inteleon, okay. So I think that if anything's going to gonna Dynamax, it's probably going to be the Inteleon. I'm not certain if he's carrying a rock move on the Cobalion, because, mm, I don't know, it's scary. We're going to max airstream the Inteleon here. And, uh, fake out. Oh, we don't have fake out. Oh my god. Ooh, this is actually really scary. Um, I mean, Scarf Close Combat's going to be doing a lot. I think my play is to double into Inteleon, in case it's, like, Focus Sash. Because I don't believe we saw the item last time. I'm just concerned about Stone Edge. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe Cobalion doesn't actually get Stone Edge. Let me double check. I'm fairly certain it does. And I'm really hoping that's the Inteleon. Ah, it is. Okay. Let me check. Team Builder. Cobalion. It does get Stone Edge. It does. Okay. There's our Airstream into the Inteleon. It does just one shot, so I think we're going to take this game because our close combat's going to be doing a lot to this um, Cobalion, and we're going to naturally outspeed it. We also managed to hide the Choice Scarf still. <laughs> we also managed to hide the Choice Scarf still because our uh, Charizard was faster and got the Airstream off. Close combat's going to be doing uh, a little under half. But I feel good. Ooh, I don't think he has Stone Edge. I don't think he has Stone Edge, if that's how that played out. There's Sinchino. Um, there was no Focus Sash in that last game. I know that for a fact. 
So what I'll do here is I'll just G-Max Wildfire into Cobalion for the KO, and I know Close Combat's enough to one-shot the Sinchino. Alright, so we get rid of that, and we manage to take it to a Game 3. It looks like Charizard's probably one of my better options overall. Alright, Belly Drum Charizard, putting in the work, I'm really happy about that. Alright, so the moveset in the Cobalion, I think is probably like Iron Head Protect, Close Combat, and not Stone Edge, interestingly enough. I'm not certain what that last move would be, maybe Bounce? Probably Bounce. Just have to be careful with that as well. Let's play with the same rules. Kind of want to go for the same setup. How would he adjust, though? I have to think about that, because he, he may just adjust to help beat that Charizard lead. Alright. I, I really don't think he has much to beat that lead, to be honest. Uh, snipe Shot could be annoying. He could lead off Inteleon instead. He could lead off Inteleon instead. Hmm. I think I don't lead off Charizard in that case, just to be careful with the Inteleon. It likely has Ice Beam, but I'm... I mean, I haven't brought this thing this entire season, so maybe it doesn't. I'm going to lead off Drampa. And uh, hit him on top because it allows me to fake out on the lead and get a Scarf Close Combat off against the Inteleon. So we're, we're finally bringing Drampa, guys. We're finally bringing Drampa. And he's going to put in work. Let me bring the Togepi and the Charizard in the back in case I need him. But I'm pretty certain uh, he's not going to lead off Cobalion here. He's going to lead off Inteleon because that Snipe Shot's going to be really useful. Come on, tell me you let off Inteleon. I really need this. Come on. Yes! Yes! Okay, he actually let off Cobalion, though, which is slightly concerning. But we are going to get that thing to minus one, and I can Dynamax. Ooh. Okay. I keep acting like I have Fake Out on this um, him on top, but I, I don't, and I know that, which is the sad part. <laughs> Max Lightning after a close combat should do it. So I think I'm just going to go for that. Because I don't want to get one shot by this Cobalion. So we're going to Max Lightning and uh, KO this Inteleon while it Dynamaxes. There it is. Okay, they're going to Dynamax immediately. I should take any combination of hits since the Cobalion's at minus one. And uh, Drampa's just naturally pretty bulky. I mean, we have max HP on this Drampa and a boosted special defense stat, so... Or, uh, we're running 44 special defense with a calm nature. Or not calm nature, we're modest, but... <laughs> I accidentally said it as calm earlier to make sure I was giving it the right berry. But we're still doing a ton, man. Like, there's no way that this thing is going to survive both of these hits, right? Ooh, I kind of... I kind of want him to get me into Berserk range. If he can get me below 50% health, I'm going to guarantee this one shot. The Helping Hand. Ooh, okay. I think I can still take it, so I should get below max health. Or below 50%. Come on. Eat it, Drampa. You got it. <laughs> we get our Berserk boost. We're gonna get that Berserk boost. It's gonna be so nasty. Drampa commands you to die. <laughs> that does a lot to Inteleon. It literally does the same amount as what we did to Cobalion earlier which is so funny. Ooh! Alright, so we do we do pick up that KO, and what's funny is, like, his head is in the lightning cloud. He felt the wind-up of that, of that lightning coming down. So I think what I'm gonna do here is it's in my best interest to max guard, switch out the, um, switch out the Hitmontop, and recycle my Intimidate. Because it allows me to get the most out of my Drampa. Ooh, I really want to get in range of my of my berry. Because I, I am running a wiki berry. There's the Meow Stick. 
most likely gonna screen. I would say they're gonna screen here. Um, I'm gonna max guard. Ooh, I could get in the Charizard and try to belly drum up. Sort of give him an ultimatum, like, who are you gonna target? Who are you gonna target? Uh, but it's probably better just to get in the Togepi. Because then I get a free hit off. So hopefully I see, um, hopefully I see a close combat into the Drampa here. There's a Thunder Wave. I'm fine with that. It's the close combat. Okay. So this turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to knock out the, um, I mean, Cobalion isn't really an issue. He gets completely destroyed by, um, by Hitmontop. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to target down into the um, into the Meowstic here. And I'm going to try to get to barrier range. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to max Wormwind into Meowstic. And we're going to switch in the Hitmontop. Because they're likely going to Iron Head. And I really, really want to knock out this Meowstic. <laughs> but they're probably going to screen up anyways. And I might actually end up just switching out the Hitmontop again because I don't want to get um, because I don't want to get paralyzed on him. The scarf is super important to the game. There's my Intimidate. Uh, it should make it so the Cobalion cannot knock us out. He's at minus two now. It's a light screen. Good play. Hey, okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna get our Barry off here. He's lowering his defense, putting himself in range of uh, close combat now. I would assume he may reflect. Wormwind's gonna lower his attack even more as I score massive damage. Okay. Meowstic's taking some chip. We're, we're at a decent amount of health given the situation. Alright, I really need to get rid of Meowstic because it'll make it so, so it'll make it so Cobalion's stuck here. Um, do you think he'll protect the Cobalion here? Maybe I just close combat Cobalion. And attack. Hmm... I don't know. I need to get rid of Meowstic more than anything. So uh, I'll take my chances with this play. I'll protect, and I'll get in the, the Togepi again. I almost wish I Mindstormed, because that would make this play a lot easier. But then I wouldn't have gotten that much damage off on it. There's the Thunder Wave. So he's already paralyzed. There's a close combat. I can redirect away the hit. And my main priority is removing Meowstic, so I'll go ahead and I'll just go for the um, extra sensory, or not extra sensory, that will knock it out. I have to Draco, which is annoying because it might miss. And it's also going to lower my damage output. Or actually, how many turns of hail are left? Mm, I don't trust extra sensory to knock out with Draco. I might be being dumb here, but. That's, that's how it is. Let me follow me. They withdraw the Meowstic, so something's, something's going to have to take a Draco. The Mill Tank? Ooh, you don't take it pretty well. You don't take it very well, man. Is the Iron Head. And he does, like, nothing. Draco Meteor. We land it. It should be doing a lot. We just crit him. There's no way that isn't a crit. What? That's not a crit? We just knocked it out? Okay. Alright. Um, I can live with that, bro. I can live with that.
So my play here is like I mean he's he's stuck in here with Cobalion, which is nice. I think I just win. Here's what I'll do. Uh, I'll just go ahead and I'll Draco into the Meowstic, and I want to get this boost off because I can't lose anymore. Uh, I'll Ancient Power into the Meowstic as well. I can't lose at this play because uh, Scarf hit him on top just wins now. There's the close combat. It's gonna knock me out. It'd be really funny if I could get my Omni Boost. He has like garbage defenses now so any like a, a light breeze will knock that thing out and I've lowered his attack way too much there's the psychic we're gonna tank that we are Togepi critical hit too. ancient power give me the boosts oh okay all right uh, so our play here is we have to first and foremost remove that Meowstic, so I'll just follow me and attack the Meowstic. Uh, we can just Flare Blitz. And follow me. I really wanted to get that boost, that would have been so funny. Alright, we get to follow me off. Thunder Wave. Managed to redirect it. Iron Head. Togepi survive. Thank you. I, I just want Togepi to live this match. Togepi will not drop. The goat. Goatapi. And since I win, regardless, I'm actually gonna make some iffy plays because I really, really, really want Togepi to get a to get a KO this season. That's all I want. Um, Body Slam is our strongest move, so I'm gonna acrobatics. Hopefully he just does not KO the Togepi. Aw, Togepi. Alright, well, unfortunately no KO for Togepi. No KO for Togepi, that's sad. I really wanted that. <laughs> that. That's all I really wanted this season. One KO for Togepi, but it's all good. Alright, so it looks like we're going to wrap up the season with our boy Hitmontop. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Let's go ahead and uh, delete this Cobalion. Close combat it. And good game. So we're going to wrap up the season with a W. One of our few Ws this season, unfortunately. But yeah, uh, good game to Poiges. <laughs> I'm, I'm never going to be able to pronounce it right. I'm sorry, man. I, I, I apologize. But go subscribe to him. He makes great content. His uh, link will be in the description down below. And thank you all for an amazing season, guys. I really appreciate the support through the rough times and the good ones. You've been phenomenal. Uh, and I will see you guys next season. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. I, I'm still going to be making content, man. I'm a VGC content creator, and there's a lot of cool stuff coming up. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.